reason for that because we used to have a lot more time on our hands. A lot more time to do the things we choose to do, to spend with our families, to engage in sports and in our hobbies. And because of the increasing burden of taxation, we now have less time on our hands, much less time. In fact, New Jersey is one of the worst states in the country for the amount of time that we have to spend paying for the cost of government. And that's something we can actually calculate. We have lost time, and time is our freedom. And that's something that is very measurable. So when we have that sort of feeling, that gut feeling, that the quality of life used to be better, it you know, tax freedom day is state and local tax burdens. So states like New Jersey not only pay high federal income taxes, but they also pay very, very high state and local taxes. So New Jersey's state local tax burden is the second highest in the nation. So when we think about it this way, that means that um, while other states such as Mississippi, Tennessee, Louisiana, states that go without one of the major taxes end up paying a lot lower state tax burdens, states like New Jersey, Connecticut, New York end up working a lot later in the year to earn income for themselves. So in the case of New Jersey, New Jersey pays 12.4% of their total income in state and local taxes. The national um, average is 9.9%, so you can see there's a, there's a considerable difference between those two numbers. So one of the things that New Jersey could do would be to flatten its individual income tax, make it less graduated, make it more neutral across all income levels. It could also lower the top rate on both the individual and corporate income taxes, and it could address the growing property tax burden, which is one of the highest in the country. It could address the high sales tax. There's a lot of things that it could do to make it more, uh, more inviting to business and individuals alike.